What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. In today's video, we've got some floor pans in Old Crow. It was a bit of a struggle, but they're looking pretty sick, so stick around and check them out. So yes, back to work on Old Crow today. We're going to try to knock out the floor in this video. In the last video, I made the hump. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you might want to go check it out. I did the hump a little bit different than the way I'm going to do the floor. The hump was kind of a freestyle deal. Just took a few measurements to kind of get started with everything and then started rolling and bending and breaking some stuff until I got the hump. The floor, on the other hand, I can't do that because it's going to have to actually go up and butt up against that and it's going to have to line up with everything that's going on in the cab. So there's quite a few things going on there. This edge is straight, this edge is kind of straight, but it's actually at an angle from this one, so it's not 90. And then I've got all the brakes that are in the tunnel, of course. And then up there by where your feet are at, it kind of kicks up a little bit, so I've got some crazy angle there going on too. So this one I'm going to have to make out of cardboard or kind of a paper stuff that I've got, and I'll get a rough layout of that in that way, and then I'll be able to put it over on some metal so I don't waste a bunch of metal trying to get this thing all cut out. Once that's all done, and it's fitting pretty decent, then I'm going to go ahead and bead roll this thing, make it look pretty sick, and add a bunch of strength to it. So, I guess there's nothing left but to get started. Mosquitoes. Alright, so, starting out with just some paper, like I said, I actually did a video about making panels and using some of this stuff in the past. I'll put a link to it up here, you guys can check it out. It's uh, Shop Talk 5. It was back when I first started doing some YouTube, so don't be too hard on me. I know the video kind of sucks. It's not as good as they are now. And hopefully these aren't as good as what they'll be in the future. So just go along for the ride with me if you do decide to go and uh, check it out. All right, let's we'll start laying this bad boy out. Where's the tape measure? So I was feeling really good about my cardboard template, so I went ahead and transferred it over to some metal. When I put it on the metal and I actually traced it out, I traced it with a big fat magic marker, and that gave me about an eighth of an inch leeway all the way around the part, so I've got a little bit of room there to move it, manipulate it a little bit, when it actually comes time to put it in the car if I need to. Otherwise, I'll end up trimming that stuff off in the final fit of the part. So, now, I think we're ready to do some bead rolling. But before I can do that, I need to lay out a pattern that's going to look cool. So now you guys can kind of see what I was laying out there on this panel. It ends up having a crosshatch section through here and through here where most of your feet are going to be at. I think that's going to look pretty sick. We could have done something as simple as just some lines in that area and lines down here. And that would have been easy, but you know what they say, easy isn't cool and cool isn't easy. So now we've got this all laid out and we're going to have to spend a little bit of time doing all that, but it's going to be pretty sweet in the end. So. 
what I did here with the tape, the, the reason the tape is on there is so that gives me a perimeter all the way around so everything kind of looks even and flows good together. Then I left this area right through here because that's where that bolt's going to be at in that cab mount that we repaired on the last video. So we we'll left that so that we don't have to mess with any kinds of bead roll stuff in that area. Anyways, I think it's ready to go to the bead roller. We need to do one thing before we can bead roll this though. We need to actually stretch some of this metal here. The process of putting in these pleats really tweaks and distorts the edges of this panel and we can eliminate some of that if we go ahead and do a pre-stretch in the English wheel. So we'll knock that out and then we can go onto the bead roller. So you guys are going to have to ignore all my junk back here. My bead roller is set up in one of my extra little junk rooms so that it can kind of stay a little bit cleaner and nice for a little while. It's fairly new so I don't want to cover it in plasma dust and grinding dust and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with doing the pleats and stuff here in the floor and then we'll go ahead and get a step in this whole thing all around it. out pretty decent so now it's time to go ahead and throw this brake in there and then we can sit it in the truck so moment of truth let's see if this panel fits looking too bad we are just a little bit big everywhere we talked about how it's an eighth inch too big all the way around so I can trim that up everything will fit out pretty good then yep oh. <laughs> gotta be kidding me oh, I made a really really bad mistake this little notch right here is supposed to leave us a nice big smooth spot right there to be able to put the cab bolt, which is supposed to be over here, not over here. Oh. That means that I've wasted pretty much the better part of this whole day messing with this panel and it's junk. Well, that sucks. I wish I hadn't made a mistake, but I am human. 
humans make mistakes. So hopefully I can knock out another panel here. It won't take too terribly long. I mean, I spent the better part of the day making that one. Got here like six and it's six o'clock now. So, but I don't have to worry about customers. I don't have to worry about other projects going on in the shop at the same time. And of course I don't have to video and edit it because you guys already seen how I made the other one. I'm just gonna put the panel on the, or the round part on the other side there. So that'll be in the right spot. So I've already got my pattern. I got barely, I mean, just barely enough metal to go ahead and make another one. So I'm gonna shut this off. Hopefully maybe by 10 o'clock I can be out of here and have this panel remade and get started again in the morning and try to get it all welded up. It is the next day. I got uh, that all knocked out last night. Got here at six, 6.15, 6.17. I guess it's taking me two minutes to try to get through this. Anyways, I got a panel knocked out last night. I uh, got the hole in the right spot or the spot for the hole in the right spot. Didn't take nearly as long since I already had a pattern and I had the doors locked and didn't have any distractions or anything like that. So I was out of here by 10, got home, got a little bit of sleep, got a shower and all that kind of stuff. But I think now we're ready to uh, get this panel in here and get it welded in the truck and go ahead and knock out a panel for the other side. Real quick, before I show you guys these four pans, I've got a question for you, and if you guys could help me out, that'd be awesome. I need to know what you guys think of this style of video that I've been doing, where I'm doing more of the time lapse of some of this work that goes into this stuff. Do you guys enjoy seeing that stuff, or is it too much or not enough? You want to see more of it. I don't know what you guys' thoughts are on that, so if you would leave a comment down below, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll read every one of them. And I'm going to take that information and try to make videos that you guys will hopefully enjoy more in the future. So leave the comment. All right, let's check it out. Well, here they are all welded in, all done up, they even have a hole or a spot for a hole in the right spot. I don't have the tunnel welded up because I still want to get in there and make a shifter in there on top of the training. So I need to get in there and do that. But after I do that, I will weld that tunnel up to the floor. That will all be looking pretty good then. We've got a zero entry right here, nice and smoothed out. This will get a little bit of a seam sealer on it right there. Got the other side in as well. It's all slicked up looking pretty good. And there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if I earned it, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.